Hi, I have a lot of stuff on my mind and I'm not quite sure how to communicate it. I'll just go for it. Italian boy moved to Italy and then he came to visit me. And before him coming, I had already been thinking a bit and I hate to do this because I really love to be like in the now and like not give a shit about the future. But there are just some things that I would like to communicate about and like address. So already before he got here, I was like, fuck, I, like, I have all of this stuff in my mind. I need to talk with him about it and it's not gonna be pleasant. And it's also not the way we thought we were gonna have a relationship. Like, yeah, we're very communicative. So of course we, we talk about stuff, but also I think we both kind of went into this without thinking that we would need to be like couple couple because we're not like actually he's not my boyfriend so there was like a lot of conversations that normally society forces you to have that we kind of thought that we could be free of like future like ugh. like we don't need to have that conversation because none of us have that conversation with ourselves in our own lives so why should we have it with another person i just reached a point where i was really sure i didn't want to long distance relationship we have been doing like long distance for the month of december i think it was okay but also it was only a month and our communication was shit we were really bad at making time for having actual conversations instead of just like the small texting stuff you do throughout the day but that's not like real contact to me I need like real conversation and we just weren't making time for that. Like I didn't want to do that anymore. I was kind of done with that and now he was coming to Paris and it was like that had been our end goal but now we were here. It's like what are we gonna do after? Like I don't need to know where you are. I don't need to know what your job is. Like I don't give a shit. I just need to know if I'm gonna see you at any point in the nearest future. And that was like my concern, like, are we just gonna like disappear and slowly fade out now? Because I wouldn't want that. Then I would rather just have a proper goodbye and get to feel those feelings and then leave each other. I'm gonna have a cigarette, wait. Also, I like organized all of my stuff in this little... Because it gets lost in my bag if I just throw it in there. And then we were like together all weekend and he slept at my place from Sunday to Monday. And then on Monday we were like lying in my bed, naked, doing naked stuff. And that doesn't mean sex, like we do a lot of naked stuff. Like we just hang out and we're naked and put on makeup and gossip and yeah, like it's just fun. We were laying there, cuddling, talking, and I just reached the point where I was like, ah, oh. because we had had a conversation the evening before about his ability to say whether he wanted me in his life or not i was asking him not to tell me like yeah i'm gonna make my next decision based off you nina but more like yeah i'm gonna make my next decision and i'm gonna be aware that you're a possibility like you're gonna be a part of my considerations i think that's very okay to care about someone and to prioritize and to want to have that like dualism I don't see that as a as weak of me. Like I'm very aware of what I need and what I want and when I'm losing myself. So I'll like say that when that happens, but until that point, I'm okay with like not making like all my decisions on my own, being like really like, no, I need to do this for myself. Like I don't need that. I'm strong enough in my own beliefs that I can make decisions with someone else without losing myself. Like I can keep track of myself pretty easily. So I don't need to be like, I'm finding myself, I need to be alone. But he was kind of like that. So like he couldn't really say that he could have me in his life in that way. Like he was on a self-discovery journey and I couldn't really be there for that. And I was like, are you sure? Like I'm really like a good person to talk to regarding that shit so like you sure you don't want me to like i could help you with your self-discovery without interfering without conditioning without like 
manipulating but like sometimes you need to talk with someone and i think i'm quite a good choice plus we have great sex so it's like the best of both worlds but he just couldn't really like give me that confirmation that he would want that in his life and then i was like but what are we doing then like am i just supposed to like watch you live your life and then that's our relationship like nah so we had that conversation the evening before and then the next day we were like laying in bed there doing the naked stuff i was talking about and then i just said like out of nowhere like i think we need to break up and he's like okay let's talk about that and then we had like a full conversation and we arrived at like the conclusion that yeah like it was not gonna work out and then i was like but i don't want to say goodbye like can i see you tomorrow can we like meet again and then we had like a really nice date where we were just talking about like feelings and sadness and emptiness and how like what we were gonna do now each of us like i was so sad of course like i was dying but it also felt like the right thing like it felt really really nice like i was okay with that i really need to get this cigarette rope we, like we kind of said goodbye then and there but then we kept texting we were like hey this just happened and like that made me think of you and we were, like we didn't really want to do that like cut that you should probably do we were still like growing a lot the relationship was the relationship was still like going somewhere and then we just cut it off like it felt very amputated and i was like can we like please see each other like one last time and like have a drink or something so we met like the evening before he was leaving again and we had a beer and i was just like at that point i was really really sad and he just arrived with this like what the fuck are we doing attitude he kept asking me questions like are your point of view not negotiable as if he wanted to like negotiate or like keep the discussion open of whether this was the right decision or not and i think he was trying really hard to communicate but he just like couldn't arrive at it and also we had been like really 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 emotional outspoken for three days straight at this point so I think we were both really drained and it was difficult to like even make a real sentence work. Then at one point I was like, do you need me to like turn my brain on for the both of us for a moment and and talk about this? And he was like, yeah, like please say something, please. I always analyze a lot and he was like, please analyze, please like teach me stuff. So I started talking and I was like, we both wa don't want to do this and I think we both have a wish that we could figure out a way to make this work. We're not really able to ask that question to each other if we want to make it work. Because if we want to make it work, then we can start talking about how we're going to make it work. But we're not going to get there if we just accept that we're breaking up because none of us dare to ask the questions that need to be asked. So I asked them like a shit ton of questions. And we just arrived at the conclusion that like we really really want each other in our lives and we shouldn't throw that away without even trying. And maybe it's not gonna work at all because I don't want long distance but we should at least try like it would be stupid not to try. So we got back together and then he went back with me to my place and slept there and then he left the next morning and it was beautiful and wholesome and full of love and shit but it was quite a journey so i haven't been making tiktoks i haven't been doing this i oh no i dropped my tobacco on the floor but anyways i've been like like really a mess i've actually just been really sad for a week and even though like it's all like i wouldn't say it ended good it ended like not terrible but even after that i would say i have a lot of feelings to process and a lot of talk to process like we've been saying so much stuff and i'm like running it over and over in my head i need to smoke my cigarette now and get out the door but it was nice having this little talk hope you understood what was going on